So here we have how to add music to iTunes correctly so that your ID3 tags are entirely correct. So first thing we do is we've got iTunes here. This works in uh, Windows or in uh, OS X, it doesn't matter. First thing we got to do is open up iTunes. We go to Preferences. We go to uh, Advanced, and we make sure that Keep iTunes Media Folder is unchecked, and Copy Files to iTunes is also unchecked. And we hit, well, first let me show you here over here. Also, we want to go to Import Settings, and we want to make sure that our MP3 encoder is selected as opposed to AAC. We don't want that. We want the MP3 encoder. And we want to go 192. If you want to go greater than 192, you just go custom and then you select whatever you want. If you want to go 320, that's fine. But I myself, I go with the 192 because it is, uh, well, it has been shown on several blogs and audio file locations that 192 is as good as the human ear is going to be able to differentiate. So that's what I could do. The, the, apparently the human ear, doesn't matter how good your speakers are, apparently 192 is as good as 320. But if, if you want to create larger files for no apparent reason, then go with 320. But 192 is what I use because, well, I certainly can't tell the difference between 192 and uh, 320, even though I have some really nice speakers. So we do that, and then once again over here, we want this unchecked and this unchecked, and we go OK. Now, over here, I have an album that I want to add. Now, maybe you bought a new CD and you copied it to your hard drive, and now you want to get it into iTunes. Or maybe you already got it into iTunes, but it wasn't done correctly the first time. The album artwork wasn't there, blah, 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 blah. Here's what you got to do. I got a new album from the band Texas. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to drag it into iTunes. Just like that. Take it from here and drag it over here. Or I can drag it up to here and this will become highlighted blue and it will add it to my music directory. That's how that's done. Now here I've got my new album, Rick's Road by Texas. And I can see that my album is mostly intact. But if I go here, I can see that the album artwork is not there. I don't want to use the iTunes store for adding artwork because it doesn't work correctly. It doesn't actually add the artwork to the album. It just creates a secondary file location that allocates that as the artwork. Anyway, it's a big mess and it doesn't work. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. It's not the correct way to do it. So anyway, we go back over here. We go to Rick's Road. I click on the first file and then I shift click the last file. Now that's my entire album selected and I go get info. Now in here, this is probably blank on yours, but you want to make sure that your artist, control C, is the same as your artist album, control V. That will get the sorting correct so that the, file, the files for the album all end up in the same location. If you're dealing with a compilation, then you want to select this one and go control C and dump it here. If it's every song on the album is by the same group, then you just say artist, control C, album artist, control A, control V, and then it's the same. If it's a compilation, you copy from here to here. That's the only difference between a compilation and an album that was created by all the same artists. This one's created by all the same artists, so we're going to do this way. Now, we still don't have any album artwork here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google Images. Here, under Images in uh, Google Images, I'm going to look for an album cover that is 500 by 500 or thereabouts. Now, this one here is too big. This one here, 499, 499. It's pretty much what we're looking for. So now I'm going to go to right click, I'm going to go save as, and for this one I'm just going to save it on my RAM, just going to save it over there, okay, so there it is. Now we're going to close up that one. Now we've got our iTunes open here, I click on my RAM disk, there's my album artwork, and I'm just going to drag it over there. And then I'm going to hit OK. This one can get closed for now. Now we're not done yet. Now here's the thing we got to do. The album artwork has been added to the information, but in iTunes the information is not stored in the correct place. We want that album artwork stored within the file itself, and in order to do that, I need to right, first of all, click the first file, and then shift-click the last file, and then right-click and go create MP3 version. Now iTunes is going to rewrite the file, and because we already selected it to be stored as a 192 file, it's going to rewrite the files with all of the information that we put in here, the artist being Texas, the album being Rick's Road, and the encoding being at 192. When it's finished encoding, we're almost done. Now, the first, the first files that we put in here, we want to, we don't want to touch anything else while that encoding was happening. And then once the encoding is finished, I can right click here and I can go delete, remove. Now those files are gone from iTunes, but they're still over here on my RAM disk, my temporary directory for this stuff. Now, when we rewrote the files by creating an MP3 version, iTunes copied rewrote those files with the album artwork in place and put them in a new location. If I go click Show in Finder, it's going to show me that these files are actually now in my 
iTunes, iTunes Music, Music Folder under Texas, album name Rick Rhodes, looks great. And you can see here that the album artwork is actually included in the file. I know that because I can see the artwork here when I click on the MP3, even though I'm not in iTunes. So I know it's been done correctly. So now, as you can see, the artwork is actually embedded in the file here and in the file located on the disk. So I'm just going to hit OK. And there you can see you've got the artwork, the files have been encoded correctly, the naming is all correct, the files have been uh, put into your actual iTunes library. Now, for me, I'm not done yet. For me, I want this album artwork actually in this folder. Okay, so I take it and I copy it in there. Now, for me, I'm still not done because I still want this Rick Rhodes album backed up. So I take it and I take it to my backup location. I'm going to copy it over to my backup location, which is what I just did. I just dragged it over to my RAM disk. So now it's it, this album exists in two places. You can see that's the one that we originally had there. And I can just delete those, move to trash. Now here's the new album with the album artwork in place and a copy of the actual album artwork within the folder. And we're all happy. We've got it backed up here. We've got it in our iTunes folder. We've got it in iTunes. Everybody's happy. Well, at least I'm happy. And the, the file has been coded properly. If you don't do all of the things that I just said, it, likely your file won't be stored correctly. The album artwork won't be correct. Or some of the file tagging will be amiss. In order to get the file tagging correct, you have to put the album artwork in and then re-encode the file. If you don't re-encode the file after you've put everything in, it won't be done properly. That's the trick. And that's all for now. If there's anything else that I can help with, send me an email and uh, I will be happy to post another video blog on how to do some interesting techie stuff, nerdy stuff on your computer. Have a nice day. Bye-bye for now.